Hello everyone, this is Febo. Today I want to share with you some new interesting laws about Queen Image Edit. They are mostly about e-commerce product image editing. One is for change the background. The second is for blend multiple images into one seamlessly. And the third one is for relight. They are all created by the same author, Da Xiong. Big thanks to the author for the sharing. But a common question is, when it comes to this kind of enhancement laws, that is, the base model can already do this kind of task. So compared to the base model, does these laws really work to make the results better? I had this question, so I made some tests that will show them later in, the, in this video. And as always, I built some ready-to-use workflows for you to use these models right away out of the box, just to save your time. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to use them step by step. The LoRa's, the workflows, so make sure you watch the whole video. Now let's take a look at the new models first, the new LoRa's. The first one is the white to scene LoRa. A bit funny is that it says a white to scene, but all the background of the product is black. <laughs> Actually, what it does is to change the black background to whatever you want, any background. Just describe the scene. And the second one is the Fusion LoRa. It's like blending uh, multiple images into one image. And correct the perspective and the lightning to make the images blend seamlessly into the background, like you can see here. At first, this quite awkward and then after the lower processing it looks more natural and here you can see the dust and the lightning here the shadow and the reflection and here the shoes etc etc and the last one is the relight. Just relightening the images you want using various lights, like a Tindo or Moonlight, etc., etc. And this is the demo from the author. It looks quite amazing, but we know that the base model already can do pretty well to this task. It has the built-in ability to relight and to blend the images and to change background. So does these laws really work? We'll see after the test. Now let's take a look at the workflow first. If you are new to ConfigUI, please install ConfigUI to your local computer. Here's a detailed installation guide. It has everything you need from install ConfigUI itself to install custom modes and install models. Everything you need. Just follow this guide. Or if you really found this kind of installation a headache for you, you could use the cloud computer. In the cloud computer, you don't have to set up or download anything like you can see here. Everything is set up for you. You could just open the link I provided and go to the cloud computer and start your creation right away. Also free. After the installation, start your config and open the workflow I provided. You can open the workflow here. Click File and click Open. Find the workflow you just downloaded. Click Open. ConfigUI will open the workflows for you. Or you could just drag the workflow to, to ConfigUI. It also works. And if you encounter any missing custom nodes here, just click the manager and install missing custom nodes. The ConfigUI will install all the missing custom nodes for you. After the installation of missing custom nodes, just restart your computer and refresh this page. If you haven't downloaded all the model files needed in this workflow, just follow the instructions in this note to download all the model files to the specified place. All the model files go to the, your ConfigUI folder, models folder, and then under the different folders. Here you can also uh, use a GGUF version. This GGUF version will have much less requirements on GPU and VRAM. After downloading all the model files needed, just press the R key on your keyboard. This will hard load all the model files you just downloaded into the ConfigUI. So you don't need to restart your ConfigUI. And now you can select the model files in the drop down list here. If you want to use the GGUF version, just link the GGUF loader to before the mod the lower and that's it and here's the 
LoRa, the speed up LoRa. Here I use the dedicated Queen Image Edit 25.0 Lightning A Step LoRa. So you could use only A steps to generate the result. And here is the LoRa we talk about. The Y to scene LoRa here. Below is the K sampler. No need to change it much. Just the seed. You could change it to fixed or randomized. Different seeds will generate slightly different result. And here I still use the testing coder from Xiaozi JSON. This one is much better than the official one. And here's the load image node. You can upload the image if you want to process here. I add a remove background node after the load image node to remove the unnecessary background so you could change the background easily. Below is where you input the prompt. And this is the trick word as the author specified. And this is the additional prompt to describe the background. Do not change the trick word. You can change the additional prompt here. From my testing, English also works with this LoRa. And if you don't want to use the LoRa and the prompt, you could just unlink this one and right click the LoRa and bypass the Y to scene lower to use the capability of the base model. Here you could just input the prompt yourself to use the base model without the LoRa. And that's all for this workflow. Now let's see some real examples. Since my local computer was so slow, I made all the tests on the cloud computer. On my local PC, it took like two to three minutes for one generation in here, like 20 or 30 seconds. So it is much, much faster. And here's the shoes. This is the one without LoRa and this is the one with the LoRa. I made a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see which one is better. They all use the same seed and the same input. But the prompt without LoRa I use the English prompt. And the with LoRa I use the Chinese prompt. Since all these three LoRa's are trained by Chinese and they use Chinese to train the LoRa. And here's the result without the LoRa. The color uh, has gotten brighter. The orange is much brighter. And here is the result with the white to scene lower. You can see the details of the original image hardly changed. And the shift is also much less. This shifted more. And the color is a bit off. And this one. The color and the details barely change at all. And the second example is a bag. And the same, I use the re remove background node to remove the background. And then here's the result without LoRa. Hardly, mm, it's hard to say. Already good enough, I would say. And here's the result with the LoRa. You can see. Again, the input image barely change at all. Only a small shift is visible. Really hard to tell which one is better. And the second one is a human. Again, the same process. Remove the background and then to create a new background. Here, here's the result without a lower. You may have noticed. Uh, with the base model with Alora, the input image will the color of the input image will change a bit to fit in the background. This one you can see the face become warmer to fit in the background. And this one also changed a bit but not so obvious. This one is the most obvious. You can see it, it changed the color of the of the input image to fit in the background. This orange is much much brighter. But with the LoRa, the color doesn't change much. Yeah, barely change. So I found that the base model tend to change the input image to fit in the background. As you can see here. It has this tendency to change the input image to fit in the background, the new background it created. But with the LoRa, it tends to change the background to fit in the color of the input image. As you can see, the input, the input image barely changed at all. But it will generate a background 
that match the color and lightning of the input image. You can see here, right? This is the difference I found between with loss and the without without LoRa. So it is really hard to tell which one is better. Of course, if for product consistency, the result with the LoRa is surely much better. So if you want a higher fidelity, you could use the LoRa. And the second one, let's take a look at the second workflow is the image fusion workflow to combine multiple images into one image. In this workflow, most parts remain the same. It's just the, I use the fast canvas here for multi-image preparation. Let me show you how to use this fast canvas. Upload the images first here. The base image link here and the second image and the third image. You could use as many images as you want. Just link, link the here. It will automatically add the input. You can see here. You can link it just here. Here I use also use a remove background node here, just to remove the unnecessary background to just use the product image. And here, this fast canvas node, it only has a Chinese version, but that's okay if you know nothing about Chinese. It only has three buttons here. The first one, the first button is to select the image layer, and the second to load the images you just uploaded into this canvas. And this, this is for test. The third button is for the test, and the last button is to reset the canvas. Normally we just use these two, the second button and the last button. Okay, let me show you how to do it. After uploading all the images, just click the load button to load all the images into this fast canvas for further processing. Just click load. As you can see, all the image has been loaded into this canvas. You can see this is the layer 1, this is the layer 2, you can select the image layer here. And then you can adjust the size as you want here using this one, the size, or move or move it around and rotate it like this one. You could just put it here. And this one, resize this one and put it here. And then click run. It will take the image from here and generate the final result. Here is the trigger of the lower. You don't need to change the trigger here. The only thing you need to do is to just upload the images you want and chain them here. After the preparation is done, the placement is done, you could just click run. And here's the result I made using the cloud computer. As you can see here. This is the one without the LoRa. Only use the capability of the model, base model. Yeah, you can see the shift is a bit too much. This is the one with the lower. Yes, much less shift. The lightning boost looks great. The shadow and lightning, yeah, hard to tell. It's just this, this one with the lower shifted much less. And the second example, I used a figure. Here, you can see the shift is also a bit too much. And this is the one with the lower. Also shifted a bit and the size has been changed. But the physics, uh, I think this one is better. You can see the dent caused by the weight of the figure also rendered perfectly. You can see here. With the lower, the images blended much more seamlessly. This one looks like floating, also acceptable. It's just not as good as this one with the lower. So this is the test result I made. <laughs> I think the one with the lower got better result. As you can see, the background barely shifted, or only the figure. But again, <laughs> the base model already can do like 98% of the job, and the lower, I think, 
percent improvement but still improvements right <laughs> that's for the fusion lora okay let's take a look at the next workflow the last one the relight lora mostly remain the same and this one we don't need we don't need a remove background node since we just relight the image and here's the trigger word also we need to link to here for testing i unlink this one here's the trigger word and here's the additional prompt i tested with english but it doesn't work so well or uh, with english better use the chinese prompt but no worries i collected all the chinese prompt the author of the law used in the training of this law you could find the one you want and then click the chinese version here and then copy this chinese version to this additional prompt you don't need to change the trigger word here and here's the result i got the first one is use the tindo effect light this is the one without lower hmm not so bad and this one the dust i cannot design second one also the tindo effect this is a bit off and this is the one with the lower looks much better the dust floating in the air also rendered perfectly and this is one with the english prompt <laughs> so weird since the author you chinese prompt to change the law it's better to use the chinese and the third one is a coffee we use the prism light and here's the one without the law not so bad and the image shifted a bit as always and here's the one with the lower the image barely shifted and i think this one got better you can see the shadow behind the light also rendered from the base model this part is missing so based on all these test results the conclusion for all these models is that most of the time you get better results with LoRa's than without LoRa the relightening and the blend image it has less shift with LoRa and this one keeps the high fidelity to the input image but again this is a free LoRa you don't need to pay for it so my personal advice is that you could use both of them in your work if the base model cannot do the job you want you could try to use the lowers it's not a confliction and that's all for today's video if you think this video is helpful please like share the video and subscribe for more thanks for watching